With the monsoon hitting two weeks before the usual schedule, we're witnessing an unprecedented May filled with rain, particularly in the west coast. But what's triggered this early onset? Set and spread of the monsoon aren't driven by just a few isolated factors. There's both natural climatic systems and human-induced changes like global warming and climate change that play a role. So how exactly does climate change lead to an early monsoon? Let's break that down for you. The first factor here is reduced snow cover. Global warming has led to a reduction in snow cover in two areas, Eurasia and the Himalayas. Between January and March this year, snow was 15% below the 1990 to 2020 average. Less snow increases land surface heating, one of the drivers of stronger monsoon circulation by mid-May. Then there's higher atmospheric moisture. With every degree Celsius of global warming, atmospheric moisture increases by 6 to 8% given that global temperatures in 2025 are about 1.2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. This year saw high moisture levels in the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal by May, fueling early cloud formation. Cyclonic activity further amplified that effect. Then there's something called the Somali jet. It's a key low-level wind stream originating near Mauritius and Madagascar, and it intensified in May. This jet transports moisture-laden air across the Arabian Sea to India's west coast, including Kerala, Karnataka, Goa and Maharashtra. And its unusual strength this year appears to be because of human-induced influences. So we've talked about the global warming impact. Let's also now focus on the natural triggers, the climatic systems that also had a role to play in the early onset of monsoon. There's something called the Madden Julian Oscillation. It's a 30 to 60 day eastward moving disturbance in the tropics that influences wet and dry faces of the monsoon. In mid-May, this MJO, the oscillation, was in phase 3, which encourages rainfall over South India. By May 25th, it transitioned into phase 4, further boosting moisture transport from the Indian Ocean. And so all of this created an ideal condition for the monsoon's widespread onset. I'm sure you've heard of El Nino. It typically weakens the southwest monsoon because it warms sea surface temperatures in the Pacific. This year, however, the El Nino has been in a neutral phase, so it's removed a major obstacle to a healthy monsoon season. Now, there's also another condition which is essentially in the Indian Ocean, called the Indian Ocean Dipole. The temperature contrast between the western and eastern Indian Ocean. So a positive IOD, Indian Ocean Dipole, strengthens monsoon winds by enhancing the west to east moisture flow. And although this is currently neutral, there are some experts who suggest a slight positive phase may develop in August and September, potentially aiding the latter half of the monsoon, which usually hits in December. So essentially all the elements seem to have come together to ensure the rain gods arrive extra early in India this year. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.